Hey YouTube, this is DBZ439 bringing you a new deck, Burning Abyss. Um, I really like this deck a lot. Uh, recently it's been topping in YCS, especially in um, Nashville. Uh, I believe the guy's name was Noah Green. He did really well. My deck's almost similar to like his, but not really. I made some few modifications. And um, he also went up against another guy, I think his name was Chase. His deck was really good too, so I, I had a combination of both of them, and I made my own Burning Abyss deck. Um, so without any further ado, I'll explain how the deck works or whatnot. Starting off with the main deck, <clears throat> we run Triple Skarm. Um, he's your searcher. Um, the best part is like um, when he gets sent to the grave in the end phase, you get to do the search. Um, also, just a general effect with all the Burning Abyss monsters, if you control no spell traps, you can special summon them from your hand, and, um, but they don't, they can only get one of the effects once per turn. So it's really easy to swarm and get into Dante's or whatnot. Um, so for the next original Burning Abyss monster, we have Triple Seer. Um, he brings back monsters from the grave, um... Really, really busted card because if you have Virgil out in your graveyard, you can bring you can bring him back with Sir. You can bring back Dante. You can bring back whatever you want, and so he's really powerful. And then another original we have Triple Graph. He allows you to special summon from the deck, and so that can help extend your plays. Next we have Double Farfa. Um, some people run one. I decided to run two um, because today in today's game, a lot of people. Uh, like to exe and um he removes the exe materials when he banishes the monster and so and it can help you go for otk to clear to clear space or whatnot and he has really good defense so so yeah and then next we only run one rubik um i i was play testing two and i realized that um i've never gone to virgil twice ever in a duel and so i cut him down to one and Decided to play other monsters instead, and so the last burning or er, one of the last burning abyss monsters I run is Libic. Um, he combos really well with Mathematician, so you dump with Math Mathematician, and then um, you get to special summon a burning abyss monster so you can exe with Mathematician. That's really good. And then last of the burning abyss monsters, you have Barbar. -Bar. Now people think that this guy sucks. I I think otherwise because he can go for game. Uh, bur dealing nine hundred. Uh, life points to your opponent is really crucial like and the fact that you can keep doing it is just really good and the fact that he has 1700 attack is is really beneficial because most of your burning abyss monsters have low attack points and so onto the non-burning abyss monsters we have the one tour guide obviously uh it's like an instant rank three monster from anywhere from deck or hand and then you have the double mathematician um really busted card because it's foolish burial and you get to draw a card when you destroy by battle and combos well with Libic. and then for your hand traps you have double veiler um j just to negate effects or whatnot and to feed uh BLS. and since um dante and virgil are your lights also you can banish them you can banish the effect veilers they're going to get milled so it's easy to summon BLS in this deck so yeah that's that's the monsters right there and onto the spells we have double MST um, if I had the money to get Galaxy Cyclone I would but MST works fine and it's really citable I like to main deck it because most decks aside from Necroz use back row so yeah double MST and then for the last of the tr spells you have Foolish Burial, Dark Hole, and Regeki um, very minimal on the, on the spells I even see people just run these three uh, and not the MST, they side it, but I really like the MST, so yeah. I, I consider it as a trap card. And then Foolish Burial obviously can, like, make plays. Uh, so for your, um, discard fodder traps, you have the double Karma Cut, really good today's game. And then you have the double Phoenix Wing Blast. And then the new card that came out, Fiend Griefing. I love this card so much. This card can stop your opponents from making plays, and it helps you extend your plays. Um, however, it is bad in against some decks, like, for example, Gravekeepers. So I, I'd like to side it out sometimes. But other than that, against Tellers or whatnot, really busted. 
And then you have double Mind Crush. Every deck searches now these days, so Mind Crush works really well. And then you have Breakthrough Skill. You don't run Fiendish Chain because you don't want to have any continuous traps on your side of the field, otherwise you can't Special Summon. So this serves this serves the purpose of negating effects, and if it gets mailed, you can use it during your turn to negate effects. Uh, then you have one fire like um, people main two sometimes, but I side the other one because there are times where you're not gonna have two burning abyss monsters on the field, but other but it's really good to get some matchups and and not so I get some other matchups. So that's why I only I side the other one. And then you have one crush card, um, just works really well with the deck. Uh, it could be bad, so that's again it's another good sideable card. And uh, then for your staple traps, you have one torrential, one warning. And the one vanities. I mean, you just have to run vanities. Just every deck special summons like crazy, so you just have to stop it. And then just like getting rid of vanities is really easy. And onto the side deck, real quick, you have just generic stuff like Fairy Wind, uh, Trap Tricks, Black Horn, Iron Imperial, Flying Sea, Para Para, Crane Crane, the other fire like I was talking about, Mirror Force, Skill Drain. Um, I see some people main it and some people don't. Um, it's really good, but if you if you plan to side in this uh, skill drain, then you'd have to go into Acid Golem, and then Acid Golem can just dominate. And then for more hand traps, you have Maxi, Effect Veiler, Vandy's Fiend. Um, she's really easy to summon. And then for the last two, an extra Dark Hole and a Light Imprisonment Mirror. So yeah, that's the side deck. And now onto the extra deck. We have the one Virgil. I explained earlier in the video that I'd never gone to him twice, and his first effect says you can't have two Virgils. And it's just easy to bring back with Serum. Really busted. You can help spin cards from anywhere, and you can discard a Burning Abyss card. And do, I mean, amazing. And then you have the Triple Dante. Uh, obviously, he's your milling engine. He's a beater. He's, he, I mean, he's he has both good offense and defense, and brings back stuff from your grave to your hand, which is really powerful. And then um, next you have two downers. I see some people run three. I've never gone to the third downer before, so I cut it to two and have space for other rank three monsters. Um, she's really powerful in this deck because when Dante doesn't have materials or whatnot, or it needs something big on it and have like a consistent, uh, consistent attacker on board, you can have her on the field and she pierces and she detaches when she attacks. So like. If she, if she has, like, Burning Abyss Moss attached to it, they gain their effects in the grave. And then next you have Double Acid Golem for the Skill Drain, and then if you need a big beater on the board, you have him. And then, really interesting card, number F0. I've never heard of this card, honestly, but after Noah Green explained about it, it's really good. You can use it to um, XZ with, like, Dante's and stuff, and he has a really powerful effect. It's, like, a change of heart type thing is really hard to get over so he comes in handy and then for basic rank threes you have ghost reality card fortune 2 for defense the equipped engineer for more defense nightmare shark come as well as bar bar you can inflict 2900 go for game zen mains for defense and then giga brilliant just for ex extra boost if you need it because burning abyss monsters usually aren't that strong so yeah uh thank you for watching youtube uh i hope Hopefully you liked the video. If you have any comments or suggestions, please comment down below. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.